So to follow on from the previous video, I'm now going to show you how you can create loops within the Sample Editor 3 software and assign them to individual notes on the Nord keyboard, allowing you to incorporate sampled hits or loops into your performance. So I've got Sample Editor 3 open and you'll see here that we've created some loops. So the first thing to do is get the loops into Sample Editor and it's simply a case of dragging and dropping the loops and applying them to the notes that you want the loops to be triggered from. You'll see that while I'm doing this, Sample Editor is also setting the range of each loop. Now I might not want this loop here to play all the way up the keyboard, so I can just change its range. Same for C1, I can change the range there as well. So now the sample will only trigger when I play these individual notes. Now I'm going to set the loops for all of them. So first of all hit Select All, and that will select them all. And then I can tick looped and then all I need to do is set the loop point so I'm putting this right at the beginning of the sample so the loop will loop all the way to the stop point and then go back again and this will have applied them to all my loops so now all I need to do is hit the save and transfer to Nord button and now this is copying it onto my stage and you'll see that despite us running four separate loops here the file size is only 3.1 meg in size so it's not very big at all and now that has been transferred onto the keyboard. There's one loop. My bass loop. Guitars. Lead guitars. And I can play them. If you don't want to hold the notes down, in the synth section you've got the keyboard hold button. So if I just press that, now my loops will play indefinitely and I can then create a separate zone here for uh, another instrument that I could solo over if I wanted to.